Uh, I'm your man. So, Lara's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Right, so it seems there's been a bit of a uh, glitch with um, my stream, so uh, I've got a knife again. See you later, Karst. Good luck. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. How peaceful. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the and hand of yeah. Satin King yeah. of Killers Our and Slavers! Slavers. Uh, hey, hey, Luminance hold your enough. fruit, nor, uh, uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azuran, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the car king. But the 13th king is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology straight from the lips of the 14th kid so please can't you lend him your ears hey, thank you <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of sun king avad You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn, you making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No, uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Menorah is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? 
Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? I mean, were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I, mean, I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But, but even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. <laughs> Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> Captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. Or take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. What else do you know about Owen? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. 
It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. Yeah. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, it looks like a pretty even match. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? I won't let the Karja <coughs> Faithless stop me from enjoying the festival. What harm can they do now? Ah, there you go. Here, the thing I love about this is uh, the movement, it doesn't seem, seem clunky. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Look happy. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. Seems appropriate that response. Oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So from one to another passes the chain of love. Bitterous. I did some uh I have some questions for him. Did some reading up on uh Horizon Zero Dawn after uh I did a playthrough for it and apparently this is the is Yosemite Park I think it's yes uh Yellowstone Park. That was it. I think it's yeah. Yellowstone Park this is based in. No, I don't. I don't want to greet you, on. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. Uh, you got everything to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin. North of the claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. But you've been doing it for longer, so you've got more answers. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you, it malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. 
Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I won't let the Karja faithless stop me from enjoying the festival. Alright. What do I do now? And Terra's Lodge is that way. Yeah, gravity will work if I do that. Oh, oh come on. Ah. Ah. I heard he'll ask for a mate blessing if he wins. But now. <laughs> That's another thing which I, I like and hate about this. You can't run through people. Ooh, and save. you're gonna get oh this is the bed house with you standing guard I figured it was the latrine you're you're very pregnant here <laughs> <laughs> well well look who's come in from the wild the motherless outcast <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. <laughs> Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a tr- Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> Dr. Vala. Ooh, there we go. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. And go to bed. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? Mm. 
You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Comforts and distractions. That's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. Yeah. Just like my mother. You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. Oh, she's going up in the world. Bastard's a bastard. What will it take to get you out of here? The wind. It's a grazer. That's my grazer. Limping. I feel bad. What? <laughs> Your trophy is shattered, Outcast. Looks like you'll need another. That wasn't very nice of him. Oh, you gotta catch up. Slow and steady now. All you need is to finish. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me. Hello, Twatterlight. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. 
No, thank you. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now that's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. My old mother, are you crazy? You're going to kill yourself. It doesn't get any easier. You're insane to go that way. No, just desperate to be accepted. Now, faster, stop dragging. Hey, gotta keep going. Yeah, yeah. trail. Is she crazy? Good, I'm gaining. Look, the outcast is catching up. How'd she get up there? Very carefully. This is gonna be close. Breathing on our little fingers. We had a trap, but I had the wild precision. Not enough. It must be perfect. Actually, got a point. He was trained in relative relative safety. She trained every day for life from the minute she woke up to well every minute of every day because even when she was asleep she was still training can't let them beat me now yeah A brave now. You did it. <laughs> as are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast and now brave. Who is first among us? <laughs> Kill you first. Kill the invaders! Kill them more. They're too strong! <laughs> we can't stop them! I will teach you! Yeah. There we go. Kill them all! 
No witnesses, no survivors. Not enough. Descend while we have a chance. Uh oh. Get back! Ah! Bala! Bala! No! Oh. The red hair dies now. Everyone. Too much. Mortal Kombat! Dun 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 dun
Burn it all. Then to your task. As you command. That's our throat. So I'm pushing you off a cliff. must have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? I got my gear. Bastards. Where's my focus? It's here, okay. Wait. Am I inside the sacred mountain? Yes. Only matriarchs are allowed inside. I, I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that... Where are they? I'm picking up some kind of signal. Looks like the ruins I fell into when I was young. The more I didn't build this place, the old ones did. Oh. 
Must be the damaged focus. The one I took from that killer. It's close. There. With the rest of my things. A little bit of everything, a little bit of nothing. All commanders, halt excavations and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora savages. But if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. Facial recognition. Aloy, you are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Ew. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Go past. Why did you bring me here? It seemed you were dying. And to die near one's mother is sacred. Lanzar fought it, of course, but genocided with me. Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. What are you talking about? Come. What is this place? The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the metal devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lance. 
Andra feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh! For identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. Be healed really quick. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. ...of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me... ...because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Olin. He was one of the outsiders... ...the night before the Proving. The killers saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the Sacred Land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How is the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now? And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. ...to show you where you were born, and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you! The other High Matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. As always. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy, told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister, for once, Lanzra... It's a... It's a This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Ouch. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn.
our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. How embracing. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. Nora faithful! Jumpy. Purify your hearts. I told her not to Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. The Alchemist oh, girl. Do not turn so she survived her wounds. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. <laughs> but we still shunned her throughout the entirety of her life. Except she feels indebted to us. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? No wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Silence! I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate, and I will be on my way. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that? Uh oh. Look at you. Detail. The demon. Sound the alarm. By the goddess, what's it doing to them? Right 
Brace yourselves! They're attacked. What have you brought on us now, you mindless curse? Kill them, Braves! Kill them all! The sad thing is, he's kind of right. It's coming for her. Watch the striders! It's driven them mad! Oh, Ooh, ouch. Stand still. I kill you if you're jumping around everywhere. Ow. Kids are almost gone. not a brave I came to help defend mother's watch but I never imagined I'd see anything like this you killed that demon pulled its guts from the carcass the way it controls other machines I think I figured it out but I need to test it on a machine uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the embrace I guess exactly and the gates are where I'll be headed anyway I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from all mother. No matter what Resh says. <sighs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Yeah. Braves! I want that gate repaired immediately! I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done. Sight overrides. I need to find a machine. Test this override device. Right, it's fine. Find the Strider. Rob! It's your sister, Olara! I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that because it's a side quest. Oh, wedgie. as much resources as possible. Striders. I 
I can test the override device on Should go in quiet. Don't go through all of this to wind up trampled in the bathroom. Nice and quiet. Okay, here it goes. Come on, come on. It worked. It's not hostile. There we go. That a boy. That's more like it. There you go. <laughs> this strider is fast. <laughs> this beats walking. There it does. I should try overriding other kinds of machines. Probably can't ride them all, but I might find a sound of fun. Watch yourselves! Bring it closer! Closer! Ooh. Varl, I take it? Am I seeing things? Or were you riding that strider when you came through the gate? Yes, I was. I was. It's hard to explain. I imagine so. Strange times we live in. We who've survived. I recognize you, of course. Aloy, the outcast who won the Proving. I'm glad to see you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No. A traitor named Olin. The matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Uh, well, then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. Now, I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. You said war chief Sona is missing? Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did, but Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the Embrace, and to guard this gate, to guard the Embrace with my life. That was days ago, and since then there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead? If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend, an unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. <laughs> you said the war party was massacred. How? When word came of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone, and our losses were extreme. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. Now, I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The War Party Massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. But she went after the killers who attacked the Proving. Who killed those we love. Who tried to kill you. Oh, I talk about dead. guilting me. I'll see what I can do. Uh, it seems that 
Yeah. It's a main quest. Right, so... May the goddess protect. On that note, I'm going to call an end to the stream. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I would be playing for a lot longer, but uh, I do have work in the morning. So I have to be sensible with my time. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will be coming back to this tomorrow after work. So tune in for uh, the next uh, installment of the uh, series. Uh, do apologise for the uh, glitch halfway through. Uh, I will be having a look into that, see what happened and uh, preventing it, or try and prevent it from happening again. So once again, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in my next stream. Good night, everybody.